John Bon Jovi är er vår gäst i kväll. Welcome to to London. Uh, you you've been here for a while. A couple of days. Uh, and I, I thought about you because you are you are born and bred in New Jersey, yeah. and uh, you have your hu- house there. It's a waterfront house. And I wonder how how, how are things? I mean, it's, it's bad. You, did you speak to your family? You... Yeah, my family are safe. They've been uh, moved to a hotel, uh, so they're safe. They're they're in a place that's uh, got food and power, but. Um, all of our houses have uh, there's no power there's no water the devastation is um, off the charts bad the president is in my hometown now in new jersey um, it's it's like armageddon it's like it's like nothing we've ever seen it's it's 911 and katrina rolled into one and so i'm i'm heading home first thing in the morning as soon as i can land the airports have been underwater it's been bad um- and this is uh, this is not only your home. It's it's where you come from. It's it's your. These are my people. Yeah, this is this is my people. Yeah, it's it's my neighbors. It's the neighborhoods that I know. It's where my children surf. Eighty houses burned down. Where you know where, where my keyboard player has his beach house. The houses are on fire. My hometown. The president would not go to my hometown. It's not a, you know, it's it's not a big place, and and it's not even on the ocean, and he's there because of the devastation. It's. It's bad. You know. What can he do? I got to get there and find out. You know, we'll, we'll we take care of each other. People will gather around, and and uh, you know that, that's that's what happens in these times. People come together. And this this is not only not only your home. It's also your 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 studio, and it's your office where you run uh, the Bon Jovi Company, mm. uh, uh, or what we call it. Um, Tell me, what, what, what kind of boss are you? A boss? Oh, Christ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, more of a benevolent dictator. Is, you know, <laughs> I'll welcome your opinions and then reject them in, in time. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty welcoming. I, I, I certainly share everything with everybody and thoughts with everybody. And, and you know, it really is a team. But is it is it a, is your your um, leadership style is it democratic or is it everybody participates everybody is is a, an integral part of the team and then uh, but they know how who they work for <laughs> <laughs> What about presents? Do they get presents? Big presents. Great. Yeah, they do okay. At Christmas. Great. I'd like to work for you. Presents. <laughs> <laughs> But this, this, do you think this is the way to make a band work over time? I got thrown out of one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly in one again now. I wouldn't know. <laughs> He's done very well. He's done very well. He's, Robbie, I, I love this guy's music for a lot of years. He's an incredibly talented guy. There's nothing to be fearful of. He's one of the great entertainers, period. Oh, wow. In the last 20, 30 years, I've seen him live. I love his records. I love what he does visually. The video stuff, the reunions would take that, we're all cool, but his solo career is outstanding. This oh, guy's wow. a major talent. Thank you. you. Know, and me the, back to you. God bless you. Thank you very much. One of the things is, the re- one of the reasons I think you are that, Rob, that you are such a great showman, is because you do doubt yourself, however. That's the curse. Do you? Do you? No, you don't. I know. <laughs> yeah. Damn you to <laughs> hell! <Yeah. laughs> Which is a brilliant but place I have the to guys. be. But you see, it's the gang, and that gang, you were in a band, so you know what that is. No, we, we never lacked self-confidence. It's when you did your solo stuff, or when you do your solo stuff, yeah. is it different? Is sure. It, is the, do you uh, question your ability in any way? Or? None of it is based on success or failure. That's the artistic expression, and the, the only thing I ask the Lord for is the opportunity to do it again. I don't care what happens with the rest of it, because I put my best effort to get it to that place. 
Whatever happens, I, one thing I'll never have been was a coulda, shoulda, woulda kind of guy. Anything I wanted to do, fail or succeed at it, I did. If, if it didn't work, oh well. How much do you think that's got to do with where you come from? Because it's a very gritty, go and do it kind of place, industrial, Bruce Springsteen's from the same neck of the woods. How much is that your people and the, the influence of them? It had a lot to do with it because we weren't in a, in a major metropolis, so we could, we, could, we could hone our craft in nightclubs and there was no media to, to pay attention to us or it. And it was at a much different time. I'm talking about, you know, the late 70s. So when we were in, in that place uh, developing our craft, uh, there was nothing. And you were close enough to New York City to see the light and to feel that, but far enough away that you could f fall and, and figure it out. And we weren't in L.A., you know, so we were in a little suburban place called New Jersey. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think that sort of doubt is much of an American thing. Have a good thing, time though. here, Frederick, because this is Robbie's show. It's <laughs> Robbie Williams' show. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I won't I get this that. chance very often. But, you know, there's not, there's not, like, doubt is not an American thing, really. I think that the, the, the thing that I've got, which is a load of doubt, it might be a British thing. I don't know that. Right, I, OK. I don't know that. Uh, do you have teenagers? Yeah, my daughter is just shy of 20. She's our eldest. And uh, then my eldest son is 18. And then uh, another son who's 10 and another son who's 8. How is it for a teenager to have John Bon Jovi as, as a father? They're, they're not, they're, they don't run around listening to my records, no. I had to beg my daughter to listen to the new record. You know, it's like, what do you think? Because they're onto a whole different style of music now, you know. But um, they don't dislike it, and they're very aware of who their dad is, obviously. But it's, it's just not a big deal in our house. It's not a big deal. It's, um, when, when, when one read about you, it's, it's like... You're almost too good to be true. It's like oh, it's you, all too good to be true. I mean, it's all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. I, yeah. Could you could you run for president? No. Why? Not, not even because mayor. you're you're a very political person. <laughs> no, there's a there's a lot of skeletons in that closet. They all dance together every night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. From touring or from living life, baby. But I don't have to talk to you about <laughs> on this couch or you know. No, thank you. <laughs> Keeping a private life private is why I can get away with what I do. Okay, but, but please, do, do, you, do you find it easier to be, to be the boss of the band than being the boss in the family? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm the last guy in the family tree. Oh, yeah, the dog. Thank goodness he passed because, you know, at least I, had, I have, you know, over somebody. The dog, I was below the dog in my house. Yes, yeah, the wife and the kids, and then I was down here somewhere. How, how come is that? They don't know you as a, as a rock star. They know you just as a They junk. come to the shows once in a while, but uh, no. Who's the leader of the band? Of the who, band? Who, your band, who's the boss? Me. But in the family? Yeah, the wife. The wife. <laughs> the year, yeah. That's correct. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm <laughs> and, and you actually, you're going on tour, yeah. coming back to Europe on tour. Uh, it's called Because We Can. Is that, is that why you do it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like see Robbie said, there you go, it's the American thing. Um, why? Because we can. Uh, it's the name of the first single. Really, just, it was that kind of thing where uh, we couldn't come up with a great album title that anyone could agree on. Everyone I liked, everyone hated. So that's where the democracy came, you know. And uh, it's the name of the first single, so we said, okay, it's good enough. And but, but because you, we can. You could quit working tomorrow. If yeah, you want. why do people say that? Why do people say that to you all the time? You yeah. can quit and put your feet up. No, you can't. Yeah. I, I don't want to. I love my job. Why would yeah. I want to quit? It wasn't ever about money. It's not about money. It's not about success. It's about doing the art form. It's the thing you love to do. As a very politically interested person, uh, there is just uh, the election is one week away. Yeah. How do you think uh, Sandy will uh, play um, a part? It's hard to tell because I'm watching the BBC and Sky to get you know my news. But. Um, it's going to be really, really close. And it's not that either candidate is better than the other, they just really tend to approach this very differently. And the world uh, is going to be connected to the outcome of that election. If it's the economies in Europe that are, have suffered in these last few years and the austerity plans that you see in effect, or what's happened in America and are coming out of this economic downturn and where we are today, the world's going to change next Wednesday. 
after that election because we're going to take one of two directions. You know? And neither one of them are bad men. They just have very differing opinions. And if it affects the food on the family's table, people are going to start thinking with you know, a different mindset than they would with um, civil liberties. You know, and which is more the democratic platform. And, and, but you're an Obama supporter, yeah. and, and he's also a friend of yours? Well, as much as you can say that the President of the United States is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> but do I, I know him? To. Yes. Yeah. Have I been on the airplane? Yeah. You know, he's, he's been to my house, yeah. Wow. So He's been to your house. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> I've been in <laughs> yeah. wow. Did you? It's an honor. But I, yeah, I was meant to campaign this weekend. And this morning I said, I cannot be in Ohio. You know, I need to be with my people. You know? Do you think that his handling of this dreadful storm uh, will count towards He may the have election? the advantage of being the incumbent in this situation because the challenger won't have the bully pulpit to, to speak from. Right now, if he's in my hometown in New Jersey with a Republican governor who's raving about him, he'll get some uptick. Okay, from it. yeah. Yeah. If this uh, if this turns into a Katrina though in the next it, it, it is Robert. it already is it is it's Katrina, but there won't be looting. I, I I I who am I to predict? I don't anticipate that kind of severity because we as a nation are are that much wiser to it, and everyone was prepared. The New York governor, the New Jersey governor, the Connecticut governor. Yeah, that was impressive. I have to very, say the warnings very were together. Impressive. But our governors are actually quite beloved in New York and New Jersey, and they, they got the troops ready, the police are ready, EMTs are ready, because we've lived through this at 9-11, we lived through it with Katrina thus far. And, you know, anything could go the other way. So a, a job being done well will bode well for Obama on Wednesday? Yes. Is it Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. It, a job well done six days from now will benefit the incumbent. Uh, John, thank you so much for, for taking the time to be here with us tonight and have a My safe pleasure. trip back. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. And, um, thank you for it. and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you. Great nice having you. you. Um, the thing is that. Your band is now waiting. So you are going to perform for us now. Okay. And it's uh, and we're very excited about this, and uh, we'll sit here and listen. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. If I don't see, good to see you, and good luck back home. Good luck back home. A pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And, and if I don't get to see you, emails and things. <laughs>